Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. <clears throat> I want to do another um, kit. Uh, Crafter's Companion, cute as a button. I will real quick show you, run through what's in the kit. I have already picked out some things. So we get, we have gone through this already before, I know that, but just for, you know, the purpose of going through it better. We got our jar of buttons. It's a cute little jar. I love it. We've got our card blanks and envelopes, and I've already chose the blanks I want to use. And then we have um, just a few dies, a circle, a square, and a heart. We'll be using some of those. Then we have um, stickers and I'm going to be using from this batch okay our colored cardstock we have red we have orange we have brown we have yellow that's pretty yellow we have pink we have a different color yellow a little more writer. I don't know if you can make that out. I don't know how to make it where you can, but anyways. Um, white. We'll be using some white in like a yellow green color. Um, and then we have pattern paper over here. So we have this. This is the one I chose to use. And we have some um, red with red dots. Here's um, orange with yellow suns. Green with yellow dots. Oh, there's a, like a light green with flowers. Um, that's pretty. And of course, this is just a regular um, I might use this. I don't know. That's not going to go with these, is it? Is it? Is it? Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to try it. It might not. We'll see. Sometimes we get lucky. Take a chance, right? Don't know if we don't take a chance. And, like I said, I keep saying, if I make a mistake, you'll see it and you'll know. And it will help you to not make the same mistake, hopefully. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get my stamp pad. And what am I going to color with? I could color with... I'll just color with pencils. I hate putting my arm in front of the camera like that. Um, that's opaque. Let me see what other heat pad. I can't wait to get my um, waterproof. This is baby blue. I don't want to use baby blue, that's for sure. This is pebble. I think I like the pebble. I think I like the soft softer color of it. Okay, I'm going to take the bike. I wonder if everybody knows how to prime their um, stamps. I'm just going to set these okay, in the flowers. Boy, they're sticking to this backing a lot. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm going to go for a kind of 70s thing here, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, we can spread these 
out a little bit in case we want to die cut. I wonder if that's spread out enough there. I can spread them out more. Why, why risk it? I'll just put this paper in the stamp pad. So if you want to prime your stamps, there are several ways to do it. Um, we have to go through, I'll have to show you. So for now, a quick and easy way to do it. What did I do with it? I thought I had it here and I don't. When they're new, they just can get where they get a little spotty. So you want to kind of rough it up a little bit and you can use your watermark ink pad. I guess I don't have it in here. But I'm just going to go ahead and use them the way they are. Let me see if that's going to work. Nope. Move that over. Okay. And then hopefully that works. Hopefully. Okay. I'm going to use them the way they are. I can re- stamp them if I need to. I'm just applying ink. Let me move this down so you can see. I'm just applying ink. I have them spread out. I don't know if you can see that's kind of bubbly. That's because it's new and it needs to be primed. But because of time, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, post another video. That's why I did an extra one today. I'm in Southeast Texas. And so we are looking at the possibility of being close to two hurricanes. And I'm hoping not. Darn, I got this flower way off. This flower has to move. Okay. But anyways, we have a chance of two tornadoes effect. I mean, not tornadoes, hurricanes. And so, if I can get videos of it, I'll post it. If I have um, power and I don't have to worry about my phone dying, I don't want my phone to die, so if I can get it posted, I will. Like I said, I don't want to worry about my phone dying. They all turned out good, except for this one. I was going to take the rest of these off of here. Oops, I'm going to leave that one because that's the one I'm going to redo. And I'm just going to re-stamp it. That's what's nice about this stamp positioner is I can re-stamp it. Now, if you don't prime your stamps, eventually, after being used a while, they'll prime themselves. They get, you know, used enough that will eventually go away with use. So there we go. And I'm glad I didn't go with the black on these. Okay, let me cover this up. And I, the ink came off of these pretty good. I don't really need to do too much clean in here. This one's got a little bit, but that's from stamping it too much. I'm gonna put my stamps away because I certainly don't want to lose them. Okay. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. And... Oh, let me get my paper out. I'm going to take 
colored pencils. These are natural box. Color blend. And of course, I don't know why I always do that. I always stick them back up, even if I've used them or not. Um, I want some pretty colors. Oh, boy. Blue and light blue. No, 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 no. Wait. I wanted to... This was the reason I did these colors, is I kind of want to make it a little bit fall-looking. So I'm going to, I hope you can see this, maybe you won't be able to, but I'm going to color in brown on the tips. You could do dark on the inside. Um, I'm not. I'm saying fall weather's coming and the fall colors are more prominent so I'm gonna do it this way and I'm just gonna color around 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 this is not the usual way I blend pencils but these are kind of small and I'm not going to worry about it too much because we're going to be adding the button. Okay, now I'll go back over it all with the yellow and that's going to soften the colors. same thing on this one and it's a little bit bigger so I'm just going to do the brown on the tips and I can do a little bit more detail on this I just found out the schools are they're doing virtual learning and they've shut that down for a week right now in case you know mer uh, emergency preparedness and so hopefully it won't it won't come to anything it probably won't now you know what I think I'm gonna try go doing the yellow with the brown now. This is still not my usual way to blend. I do it usually way different. I do start out real soft and I might do another class on color blending pencils. Um, not class, but another video. It's not a class. Cause and I'm going to go back over it. With the orange, but I'm not gonna do perfect. Okay, yeah, that looks better that way. I'm not gonna do nothing with this one, and I'm gonna make the bike orange. And I probably should just leave the bike alone. But I can't do that, can I? I got a color. <laughs> yeah, I shall have left the bike alone. I went out the lines because the lines are so small. I'm going to 
kind of outline it to make it look like I did that on purpose. Because I don't want to fussy cut the bike out. I want to use the um, circle die for it. Okay. And I guess I'll go around the flowers a little bit. Since I went around the bike, it kind of pops it a little bit, so I kind of like the way it turned out. And I'm just going to do this in the brown. Like I said, I want to do fall colors here, so... I don't know if I'm going to fussy cut these. I think not. I think they're all going to get just cut out, not fussy. Okay, and I'm going to use the orange on this one. And it's got spaces in between, you can see. And I'm just not going to go in there. I'm just going to go around here. So, I don't know, my idea for this card might be a mess. But whatever it is. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what happens. This morning, I guess it was, because it didn't come up yesterday, did it? Um, I could do this one. I don't know if the yellow is going to show that much. Yeah, it's okay. I used the yellow. Fall's coming, so we got to start getting ready for some fall cards. Maybe some Halloween. Can you see? doing. I hope I'm not doing this all out of frame. But okay. Now we need to do some die cutting. And I'm going to go ahead and, and do all of these I'm going to die cut them. Thing is, um, if I decide to cut it out smaller, I always can. But if I cut it out smaller and change my mind and decide I want to die cut it, then I can't. So, I first want to do the bike. I'm going to practically waste this whole sheet of paper the way I spread these stamps out. But make sure your cutting edge is pointed to the paper. And I'm going to, this one's really tweaked here, but I'm going to try it. I kind of want it. Pretty good centered. Here's the marquee. Let me get this in. Looks like it's gonna work. And usually it comes back tweaked a different way. Nope, this one's still tweaked that way. But did it cut? 
Yep, what I tell you about this machine, man, you can't. You just cannot beat it. Um, gosh, I don't think I want to die cut these with that. They're not all going to fit on the card. It's going to make the card. So I'm just going to do this and cut around them. get that circle die cut and cut out but then that's defeating what we're trying to do by doing things by what's in the kit right I think I'm just circle, not a very good circle either, but, eh. an alright circle, I guess, and one more, the small one, I don't know about this cute as a button thing. This is like when I had to use that mermaid kit. I don't know what to do with this kind of juvenile looking stuff. So that's kind of my idea right there. It's not much, but that's kind of what I pictured doing. That's maybe a little hippie ish. I don't know. So I want to do a mat with this paper. You know, I should do the brown first. I'm going to do the brown first. I want to do pattern on pattern. That's what I want to do. Um, so so my card is Six by six. I'm going to do this five and a quarter, five and three quarters. That looks big. That looks too big. About five and three quarters. That is too big. This is not six by six. No. It's not. What am I looking at? It is five by five. So now I wasted that paper. Okay. Four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay. Now it goes on. Now I'm going to do four and a half by four and a half. I like to go quarter smaller. Sometimes I will do um, bigger than that if I want the paper to show more. Okay, so we're going to have this. Then we're going to have ooh, our bike. And then our, I'm really not crazy about the way that turned out. Maybe I'll put these two together. Let's take this one. Down here, I'm not going to worry about coming off the mat. I don't worry about it. That's not something I worry about. Okay. And we need to put the buttons on. So, I 
this, we can start by pouring out a bunch of buttons. Ah. Okay, now I kind of want to stick with yellow and orange. So I've got an orange button for the wheel. And an orange button for this wheel. And I got a yellow for this flower. And a yellow for this flower. And an orange. Is that the right size? For this flower. Okay. Now it's a button. You want to make sure you have a good glue. The tacky glue. This is why I like tacky glue. Because I can bring in the tacky glue. And the tacky glue is going to be good for this. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to pour that many out. I didn't mean to pour that many buttons out. Anyways, I'm hoping that it doesn't look too childish. I could mat this, um, the flowers and the Die, die cut. I could mat them. Um, yeah, but this video is running long enough. So I'm going to just push these over to the side and I will pick those up later. And we're going to glue our buttons down. Ooh, I hope that doesn't mean the glue's dry. Now, if you want to, you can tie a string inside the button, and that is always super cute. I would use like a brown to tie. Um, all you gotta do is just bring it to the front and tie it a knot. Just bring it up through the two holes and tie it in a knot, and you can cut the knot short. And it's, it's cute that way. I like it. Okay, we got our buttons glued just about here. Okay. 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 So we're going to lay our first mat down. I don't know why I always flip this paper over. Because <laughs> it's always the same on the other side. But, <laughs> I, you know, you just get used to doing things a certain way. Just because if it's a pat pattern paper, you got to flip it over. So you just get used to flipping it over. And that's what you do. Flip it over. Okay, so like I say with matting can use whatever you want to use. If you use a liquid glue, you get a little bit of give time to move it if it's not straight. Okay, so if you're real good at matting, you can use double-sided tape. I sometimes have problems with it. Tacky glue. I love to use my tacky glue. But it will warp the paper. So I have to be concerned that this paper is going to warp. But it dries so quick. And I can use it for so many different things. And it still gives me time to move stuff. There's the base. I really like that base. I almost don't want to put nothing on it, but maybe a tag. That's that's pretty. I like that. That turned out pretty. Um, here's the bike. And I don't think I want the bike centered. Sometimes I don't like things so... So, um... Organized. 
is looking. I don't want it centered. I just want to. I mean, some people like to do everything like that, so orderly and organized and, and all of that, but mm, not me. Not so much. It sometimes just looks better when you just do off a little bit. Okay, I'm going to this one on the top, I've decided. And glue. And I definitely think when I use this again, I will not color these flowers with these pencils. I will use the watercolors or or just not color them in at all. Because um, I'm really not real super crazy about how they look. So. You don't think these go together? I was thinking bike ride in the fall or close to the fall, so this time of year. It's not spring and the colors are not so bright on the flowers and stuff, but they're still there. You know, leaves are change getting ready. They haven't changed colors yet, but they're getting ready to. I don't know if things, but what do you think? The buttons just look heavy, don't they? To me, they do. But anyways, I wish they weren't such a thick button. I didn't think they needed to be that thick. But they are. Sentiment. I don't know what sentiments we have here. May your day bloom with happiness. Thinking of you, thank you. May your day bloom with happiness. That's what I'm going to use. shouldn't have any troubles because it's not so big it doesn't have the big spaces in it so it should be yeah see it didn't bubble but when you have some like this you know you get that you gotta myself some stress I made it look like I wanted it not to be perfect <laughs> so we'll see we'll see if it looks right I could always mat it it might add a little something something to it and yeah, there's so much going on here already I don't know huh. I should have matted this circle this bike I should have matted that that's what should have matted next time I will I'm gonna mat this and then tie that brown in a little more because that brown and that red looks really good together better than I thought anyways somebody's honking like crazy out there the dogs have been pretty quiet today for this video, probably in there sleeping.
Ooh, that looks good. I like that. That's like the best part of the whole card. <laughs> oh, I have to get more creative with the shapes for the sentiments in the future. So, actually, it looks pretty good. If I had colored these in or not colored them in at all, it would have been better. If I'd have matted this, it would have been better. So, that's what I would do if you want to do something like this. Maybe don't color these at all. Just damp them. Maybe as part of the background paper, even. And then mat the circle under the bike if you're using these kind of colors because. But that, that sentiment's the best part. Sentiment. Okay, so thank you for joining me today for this video. I hope to have another one up for you soon. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe and like button and that notification bell so you'll know when I put another one video, another video up. And I hope you join me next time. Thank you.